Okay, people, let me shift to the Indianapolis Colts. So in 2020, the Indianapolis Colts have been a pretty good football team. They're 6-2 and two on the year, and recently, during Week 9 of the 2020 NFL season, they got a big-time win versus the Tennessee Titans on the road in Tennessee. They won that game 34-17. to And like I said, the Colts, they improved to 6-3 and three on the year, and they currently lead the AFC South Division. And I truly firmly believe, as I speak today right now, the Indianapolis Colts, are the biggest Super Bowl 55 dark horse. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that the Colts are going to make the playoffs just because the Colts, the, listen, there's a ton of competition, you know, as far as who can make the playoffs in the AFC. Heck, as we speak today, the Cleveland Browns are not in the playoffs, and they've been a darn good football team this year. And in fact, they beat the Indianapolis Colts earlier in the season. So that just goes to show you how good the AFC Conference is this year. Heck, the Oakland, not the Oakland Raiders, pardon me, the Las Vegas Raiders might be the sixth or seventh best team in that conference, and they beat the Kansas City Chiefs on the road, and they beat the New Orleans Saints earlier in the year. And those might be the two to three best teams in all football when we look at the Saints and the Chiefs. They, those are two teams that very well can win the Super Bowl. The Las Vegas Raiders are capable of beating anyone at any time. I don't think the Raiders are good enough to win a Super Bowl this year just because you have to win three to four playoff games to win a Super Bowl. But they're a dangerous football team come playoff time. They very well could be in the playoffs. But as of right now, the time of this recording, I think the Colts are one of the more slept-on teams in all football. And I believe you could actually make the argument they have one of the ten best rosters in all football. They're really good. The defense for the Indianapolis Colts right now is number one in total defense. They're third in points per game allowed. They've been shutting teams down all season. In the offseason, I, I said the Colts' defense could become a top five unit maybe, but you can make a strong case that when the Indianapolis Colts' defense is on their A game, they're the best defense in all of football. They're really, really good. They have a lot of good players. And the Colts, they can play smash mouth football. And smash mouth football, more times than not, wins games come postseason time. The finesse football teams, you know, sometimes your Green Bays, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, a couple years ago with Alex Smith, they were a finesse football team. Uh, the Colts, when they had Andrew Luck, not this Colts team, but a couple years ago, they had they had Andrew Luck, and they were kind of a finesse football team. You know, the Texans last year, they were a finesse football team. But, you know, when you can play smash mouth football and really get in teams' face, and just punch teams in the mouth, you can win a lot of football games come postseason time. The Colts right now, for my money, have the best offensive line in the entire NFL. You got three really good running backs in Naheem Himes, Jordan Wilkins, and Jonathan Taylor. Those are three really good running backs. You, you know, Wilkins, Hines, and Taylor. Taylor has kind of disappointed this year a little bit um, just because, you know, he's Growing th going through some rookie growing pains. He's fumbled a couple times in some key spots. You know, he hasn't been the most consistent player. But if he's your third best running back on your roster, arguably, you know, at times he looks like the third best back on that roster, that's a scary sight. That shows you how talented that Colts backfield really is. And I really think the Indianapolis Colts wide receiver core is actually very underrated. You look at Michael Pittman Jr. He's finally healthy. He had over 100 yards versus... Uh, the Tennessee Titans this past week. He's a very good young player. T.Y. Hilton, he's a good player as well. He hasn't quite, you know, clicked with Phillip Rivers, but T.Y. Hilton's a good player. Zach Pascal, good player. You know, Trey Burton, Jack Doyle, good tight end duo. This Colts team, they, they're really good, and they're not quite as good as Kansas City or Pittsburgh, but they're probably in that next tier. They're a very good football team, and what it comes down to for the Indianapolis Colts in regards to if they can win Super Bowl 55, it is going to come down to, can Phillip Rivers make enough big boy throws? Old man Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers on the year, 68.7% completion percentage, 7 touchdowns, uh, not 7 touchdowns, pardon me, 11 touchdowns to 7 interceptions, a 93.6 pass rating. That's a He's having a decent season. As of right now, I think Phillip Rivers is an average to a slightly above average quarterback. You know, he's 38 years old. He's definitely not, you know, on the younger side of quarterbacks in the NFL. You know, he's not as dynamic as a Deshaun Watson or a Patrick Mahomes. But Phillip Rivers can definitely get the job done. And listen, as long as Phillip Rivers just stays on schedule and is an accurate distributor of the football 
and doesn't turn the football over, the Colts very well could go all the way. The Colts are not asking Phillip Rivers to be a playmaker. They're asking Phillip Rivers to be an accurate distributor of the football. And at times he failed to, you know, you know, accept that challenge. You know, he, he played poorly versus Jacksonville. He played poorly versus Cleveland. Didn't have the best game versus the versus the Ravens. But when he's had to, you know, come back from behind versus the Bengals, you know, and when he's had to beat Tennessee on the road like he did this past week, Phillip Rivers has looked pretty good. So it will ultimately come down to can Phillip Rivers make enough plays. And I truly do worry about the Colts just a little bit just because if this team falls behind, I worry. Because the Colts, they're a team that's built to play with leads. If they fall behind 14 to 3 or 14 to nothing to Pittsburgh, Kansas City, even Baltimore or Buffalo, I don't trust the Colts to make a comeback. I understand they came back versus Tennessee I understand they came back versus Cincinnati, but the Kansas City Chiefs of the world, the Baltimore Ravens of the world, the Buffalo Bills of the world, that that's a whole different ball game, okay? And if Phillip Rivers is down a bunch of points early to Patrick Mahomes or Big Ben, and he has to throw the ball a bunch of times, if you ask Phillip Rivers to throw the ball 30 to 40 plus times, I think this Colts team is going to be in trouble because they don't have enough firepower to come back and strike you like Kansas City or even Pittsburgh. And ultimately, I don't think they have the quarterback that's capable of doing it right now. You know, I don't think Phillip Rivers is capable of winning shootouts. So there might be a ceiling with this Indianapolis Colts team. But ultimately, hey, man, listen, Phillip Rivers, you got a pretty good roster. And a lot of people are wondering if Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Fame quarterback. There certainly is an argument to be made for Phillip Rivers to be a Hall of Famer. There's an argument to, there's an argument to say, hey, you know, pump the brakes. He's not a Hall of Famer. Quite, quite frankly, right now, I have to, I, I'm going to sit on that topic. I want to, you know, maybe bring you guys, you know, an episode next week discussing if Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer. Be sure to comment if you think Phillip Rivers is a Hall of Famer or not. If you're watching on YouTube, you know, things of that nature, you know, Phillip Rivers, let's just say he'll make the Hall of Fame because he's got the numbers, he's got the longevity, and if he makes the Hall of Fame, it's not a crime to me. You know, it's not a crime to me. Maybe not first ballot, but if Phillip Rivers really wants to truly be a first ballot Hall of Famer, winning a Super Bowl, or at least getting to a Super Bowl, would definitely help out his resume. And I truly think Phillip Rivers has a good enough team to win the Super Bowl this year. If he's that guy, if he makes enough big boy throws, and if he's clutch enough in the playoffs, I think this Colts team really, truly could surprise a lot of people. But ultimately, the Indianapolis Colts will go as far as Phillip Rivers takes them in 2020 if they want to win Super Bowl 55. That's my thoughts on the Indianapolis Colts and Phillip Rivers as I speak today. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.